Hi everyone, I'm Rachel, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to turn any object into transparent glass using the Color Therapy app. If you don't have a stylus or an Apple Pencil, that's okay because in this tutorial, I'll be using my finger. The trick to making any object look like transparent glass is to first choose an image that has a background and a foreground. Color the object in the same colors as the background, and then simply add highlights. Okay, so let's get started. I chose this image because it is actually perfect for something like this. You can already see the background coming through the foreground, which is our lady here. So what we're going to do is basically make our subject, the girl with the dress, turn into glass. You can also use any other image. So just choose an image with an animal or any other kind of object, a person or something like that. As long as it has a background behind it, you can also draw in your own background too. So that's totally fine too. All right. So the first thing we'll do is just choose our colors and tap to fill them in. So open up the color palette. I'm just going to grab a basic solid white first, and then in the orange palette under shades, set that to gradient. And I'm going to choose um, this dark orange gradient. And then back in the color palette under dark shades, I'm just going to choose a black to green gradient. And then in dark shades too, under the basic palette, I'm going to choose a turquoise gradient and then sort of a dull turquoise gradient as well. Okay, now I'm going to tap to fill everything in. So with that orange going from dark to light, I'll just tap it into the background. And now I'm also going to bring it into the whole head of the girl here, her neck, her shoulders, and her arms. And then in the background, I'm going to color those mountains with that um, faded turquoise and the gradient doesn't really matter too much and then in the water i'll use that brighter turquoise just tapping to fill it all in and then the trees and land i'll color that dark green gradient going from light to dark and also what i want to do is carry the background through her arms here as well so it's come through behind her back but i also want it to come through her arms as well so i'm just going to use the manual mode and using the airbrush I'm just going to go ahead and sample um, that turquoise color there and just go ahead and start to add it in and just sort of match it up with the mountains. Now, if you've noticed, I left the arms orange where the background should be blue. That's okay because glass does tend to carry and reflect color um, in other areas, so that's okay. Now, optionally, you can add in some clouds into the sky if you want. So if you want to do that, then you'll just set coloring inside the lines mode to off. And then just with the airbrush, you can start to add in the clouds with the white color. Really, you can add any details you want. This is going to go through the head here. So that's going to already begin to make it start to look translucent. All right. So once you're satisfied with how the foreground and background are colored in and blended, you want to go ahead and open up the manual mode, select airbrush, raise the opacity to 60%, and then you want to have size all the way up to 80%. And then using the white, you're going to start to add in some translucency into the glass. So we'll, what we'll first do is just sort of start drawing in a reflection and you want to make sure that you are still set to coloring inside the lines mode and that's off. So just start to add in some reflection into the dress going with the shape of it. I'm kind of going on both sides like that and also at the bottom right here just slightly let's lower the opacity to 50 now and the size let's lower that to 35 so we can get in some more details so now i want to just start to add in more details right on top of those same highlights we just did and now i want to add the highlights into the arms so i'm going to just add a little bit here in the middle of the arms coming downward. Now let's add in more detail by lowering the size a little further down to 25%. And then we'll raise the opacity to 100. Now with coloring inside the lines mode set to on, now you wanna start outlining the body. So let's zoom into the dress here and just kind of go ahead and start to outline each part. We're just going on the edge of the dress. So all the way around the whole body on the inside. And you want to do the same thing on the arms and the neck. Then you also want to do the same thing with the hair all around the outside. 
So it's just gonna come down from the top just a little bit, just so it looks like it's sort of outlined. And it might take a little bit of time, just be patient with it. And now let's set coloring inside the lines mode to off, and then let's lower the size down to 15%. And we wanna add in sort of the shape of the dress, so I'm just gonna do a circular shape sort of a half dome shape at the top of her chest and also at the bottom of her dress here. So now it kind of gives her some form. It makes her look like she's a hollow glass figure. And then I'm also gonna draw a long stroke all the way down her back there too. And then to make it look even shinier, let's just lower the size all the way down to zero. We're just gonna add in little areas of highlights. So just in the hair here and there, just little strands going across and then on the neck and then we'll do just a few throughout so maybe on the arm and then maybe a few on the shoulder here and that's all there is to it and here's the finished image with the canvas painting effect on it with the black lines removed you can apply these techniques to any objects animals or even people to make them look like they are made of glass if you'd like to see more tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe to the color therapy youtube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.